Hello YouTubers, welcome to another lovely afternoon. My name is Ferret Commando. Just want to share with you guys in my last video, I have successfully installed a Kenwood radio, the KDC HD 262U, inside a 1997 Mercedes E320. Since I've had it, I have actually have blown two subspeakers, which are just the stock inside the car. Here they are. That one's completely blown. This one still works, but instead of actually putting in a Pioneer or Kenwood speakers, which cost like $50 to $60 each, I decided to do my own stereo system subwoofer installation. As you guys can see, I have put these two sub speakers in. These actually come from an actual stereo system. They are Philips. And guess what? They are fully functional. I'll give you a demonstration right quick and then I will show you guys how I installed them in. Now. For demonstration. So as you guys can see, it's, it's, it's pretty loud. Uh, I actually custom installed those two sub speakers back there. And I will show you guys how to do that. So first, it, you know, you could do this to any kind. Even if you have the stock, you can go ahead and install your subs in. But it's actually quite simple. It takes a little bit of wiring skills. You may have to do a couple of, uh, if you don't know how to do wiring yourself, you may have to get somebody to do it or go to the car audio shop. They can give you more information on how to do that. But just for sake of purposes, I'm gonna show you guys how I installed those subs in. Now, what you're probably gonna to have to do first is take off your main sub speakers. By doing that, you gotta first pop, pop off these, these covers. They're pretty simple, just use a normal standard screwdriver. And what you got to do is you got to go underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a hole underneath here. You have to pop these speakers out. And then from underneath here, which I'll give you a demonstration up top to make it more simple. And grab one of these. I'm going to grab the other sub speaker for demonstration purposes. So let me pull this one out. And ta-da is how I did it so what I did was what I had to do was take the wires from the stock speakers and I had to strip all four wires and connect each one this one's green and black so therefore on your stereo system or radio system it has to be an alternate color as well. Same goes for your power. It's completely red here, completely black here. So again, green and black, red and black, yellow, black, whatever you have. So you gotta use connector butts is what I did. I compressed it by using a pair of pliers. It's a lot more simpler that way. That's pretty much what you do. Um, I have a lot of slack to work with, so that's good. I'll just put this one back to where it was right quick. But yeah, it sounds really, really good. But that's how I did it. You can let it sit like this or you know, make it look really cool. That's what I'm gonna do, let them sit like that. Make them look pretty, pretty pretty epic pretty base so that's what I did I basically you say well how'd you get that adapter well you can always cut off the wire from 
your speakers from your car. See how this one, see how dirty it is. It's, it's in stock. It's not really, you know, that great. I mean, yeah, it, it produces really good sound, but they're really easy to be blown. Now here's the most important part about installing these sub speakers in. You got to make sure your ohms are right. And what ohms are is basically your power supply. If you have too many ohms, therefore you should be okay in your sub speakers. But let's say if you have like three ohms and try to put it on a six ohm wire, it's gonna blow your speakers. So be sure, these are four ohms. These are your pretty much your stock speakers, but it says four ohms. And on this one as well, on the speakers on back, it also says four ohms. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm going to move over here so you guys can see it. But in the back... Hang on a second. Just had to get this sucker in. I'm sorry, my camera's really been messing up on me today. But you guys can barely see it. I know it's blurry. There it goes. See where it says four ohms? Just be sure that your ohms match up with the speakers that you're using so you can actually have good good power and good sound output. It's basically what ohms are, it's just conduction of electricity really. I'm pretty sure your science majors out there probably know more about what ohms are more than I do. But I'm just I'm just actually really kind of curious now. But uh, I really am proud to get these in. I don't think a lot of people actually take normal stereo speakers and install them inside a Mercedes E320 but uh, but that's basically how to do it if you guys have any questions please like subscribe put on my channel you'll find me at ferret commando thank you guys have a good day